Hi guys, it's me Erica. So if you've been watching my videos, you know I have been uploading in a month and I'm kind of sad about that because I've actually been really good about being on track of the videos I've put out. So this is like the first time I haven't put out a video in like a week or two weeks in time. And it's really weird. <laughs> and you can tell I'm kind of sick. But the main reason I haven't been able to upload videos is because of school and this quarter it just feels like I have to do a lot more even though I've been doing the same units ever since. And also I think the big reason is that even though I'm watching anime this season, anime this season isn't really inspiring me to do like DIY videos because there's nothing I see from it yet. At least not yet. But besides that I wanted to share some anime that you could watch this Valentine's season. So Valentine's Day, I think today, this year is on a Tuesday, so it's a really random day. It's a Tuesday, no one cares about Tuesday. <laughs> but anyways, so I don't have any other significant other, but that's really okay. I, I think it's because I've been a third wheel for so long that I don't really care about that many relationships and it's just too much of a hassle, at least for now, because I want to focus on school. But Valentine's Day is just not about love for your significant other. It could be love for your friends and your family. So these animes I'm going to be recommending are all animes that you could watch together with your friends or family. And just gives you a lot of feels. So with that, let us get started. So the first anime I'm going to be recommending is Tamako's Market and its sequel, Tamako's Love Story. And Tamako's Market is just basically a very cute anime that deals with the daily lives of Tamako who is the daughter of a mochi maker and her friends in her school and a magical bird named Dena who loves to eat their mochi and it's not really an anime that you have to look into too much it's just like one you can just casually watch I started watching Tamako's Market recently even though I wish I watched it when it was simultaneously like going out because I know my friends were watching it when it was coming out and I'm, I'm sad that I kind of missed that train but I love it right now and though Tamako's Market only hints at the romantic relationship between Tamako and her childhood friend who is also the rival mochi maker Mochizo, the sequel to the anime is actually where it dives deeper into the romance so I haven't watched it yet but I know like the ending and oh my god it has like the one it has like the best confession scene that I've ever seen and it's just so cute and so next anime I'm going to be recommending I feel like everyone knows this anime because it was so popular when it came out and I really loved it and because it's so funny and it just has a hint of romance but the comedy just made it like one of the best animes I've watched and that is Gekkan Sojo Nozaki-kun or Monthly Girls Nozaki and Gekkan Sojo Nozaki-kun in case you don't know is basically about a boy named Nozaki who is the student at a high school but secretly he is actually a well-known manga artist that draws shoujo manga even though he's a guy <laughs> But then one day, Chiho Sakura, who really loves Nozaki-kun, confesses to him, but of course because he thinks that Chiho is a fan of his work, he gives her an autograph instead of actually accepting the love confession. So Chiho's all like, wait, what the heck? But Chiho wants to get closer to Nozaki-kun, so, so she offers her help to his manga to color in the black. Basis. I think that's what she was supposed to do but then along the road of the series you meet tons of people already in the school that become helpers of also Nozaki-kun for his manga and they're just a very interesting bunch of individuals It makes the anime very interesting. But the next anime I'm going to be recommending is Kimi to Boku. Kimi to Boku has two seasons so if you really like the first one, there's a second one you can go to. So Kimi Toboku tells the story about five guys about their daily high school lives. It's kind of like daily lives of high school boys, but not too much like the crude camp, crude comedy that daily high, daily lives of high school boys were. But it just was talking about the friendship between those five guys and then how this one girl 
comes into their life and falls in love with this other guy, the main guy with the red hair, but then he doesn't know that. But I don't know. I, re I don't remember too much of this anime. I just remember it was a good one to watch because it was just like very calm but also gave you the feel. The next anime we we're recommending is Nijiro Days and Nijiro Days came out a few seasons ago came out a few seasons ago and it deal deals with four high school boys and I feel like everything for romance deals with like high school because you don't see that much <laughs> at least of uh, them past high school but for Nijiro Days it tells the story of four boys that each one has their own love story so the first one is more of an innocent one for the second one is more like a tsundere relationship third one is almost like the submissive and like dominant kind of relationship and then the fourth one is the nerdy relationship that already exists but it's a very fun anime to watch and it's not that long actually it's 20 something episodes and each episode is, is about 15 minutes long but technically 13 minutes because of the opening and ending if you didn't have them then it'd just be 13 minutes and i really loved it when it came out and the manga is still ongoing so if you really liked it you can continue it so the second to last anime that i'm going to be recommending is sweetness and lightning or amata to inazuma and that just aired like two seasons ago and it deals with more of a family love and it deals with the sensei of a school who just recently lost his wife and is now a widow with their young daughter but he has like no idea how to cook it was his wife that did all the cooking so all this teacher can actually offer his daughter is like microwave bubble food because the first time he cooked for her it didn't go out too well but as the course of the series go on he learns how to cook with his student and he really wants to do it so that he can make his daughter happy with the food and it's just so cute like when I watched it it just made me cry but the last anime I'm gonna be recommending is kind of similar to Sweetness is Lightning and it just came out last season and that is Uga no Kimari World or Poco's Udon World um, and this one is similar to Sweetness and Lighting and uh, diving to the relationships between single fathers so I, I feel like that's really a good choice but not a really heartwarming like story to tell um, but so the story of Poco's Udon world is actually uh, starts with Tawa Sota who is like this graphic designer that moved to Tokyo but he has to go back to his hometown because his dad who was this famous udon shop uh, owner recently passed away so now him is so now his sister and him have to decide what to do with the land because no one lives there anymore so how what will they do but they ultimately decide to probably auction off the shop and the land but a lot of people say oh yeah like we really love this shop and how much his dad made a difference in their life for the udon but his the selling of the shop actually comes to a halt when sota finds a small boy in one of the udon uh, making bowls and he decides to like take him in and raise him as his own son but then he later finds out that this boy isn't really a boy and is actually a tanuki uh, a magical tonic you can transform into a boy and it's just a really cute anime and so and throughout the anime you see how t uh, Sota becomes a father by learning what to do and also the sacrifices that his own father made that he comes to realize after he passes so yeah those are all the animes I'm going to be recommending this Valentine's season so I know this is pretty a pretty short video I'm really sorry about that but I want to thank you guys for watching and I hopefully I can make more videos come spring break where I actually have more time and have probably more ideas because this season is just really kicking me in the butt because I have nothing to like make a video on that really is interesting to me. So yeah, thank you so much you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye!